Hello and welcome to Minslow Academy. This is part 3 in our Python financial stock analysis series. And in the last lecture, we saw how we could take our fetched stock data and make a, a stock chart like this one, where we see the data for Microsoft, uh, Apple and Amazon uh, in this case. So here we see that Amazon has really taken off, um, especially the last two years, where Apple and Microsoft seems a bit behind. But when looking at the data like this, it can be misleading because this is displaying the price, uh, closing price, uh, and not the overall performance of the stock. So in this lecture, we'll be making a normalized graph like this one, where we can get a better understanding of how well a stock performed based on the price. So as you see here, this um, chart is a lot different from the one above, where we see that both uh, Apple and Microsoft are much closer to the performance of Amazon because we have normalized the values and taken uh, apart that Amazon started off in a total uh, different price tag. So let's get into it. So the data that we have right here, which this graph is based on, is just taken right out of uh, the Yahoo uh, Finance library. But if we dig into the data, we can do this by clicking data.head. And again, if you haven't watched the two first uh, parts of this tutorial, I recommend you to do so, uh, where we'll be building this stuff right here. So if you have already seen this, you will know that we are having a, a variable data, which contain the stock data that we are using here. So now we are taking a look at the head of this uh, data. Uh, and if we execute this data.head, we'll get this output. So here we have the Apple, Amazon and Microsoft. Um, and this is the start period, which we are defining here when we are fetching uh, the data. So as we see here, Apple is starting at seven and Amazon is way over 100, whereas Microsoft is uh, kind of in the middle, um, closer to Apple, of course, than, than Amazon. And this is what gives this huge uh, difference when we look at this graph, because they are starting off in total different price tags. So we want to normalize this data to even out the, the price difference and just look at the performance of the stocks instead. So the next step that we're going to do is to use this ILOG right here, where we are choosing zero, for the first row. So we are basically taking the, the row here, which we see Apple 7.6 and Amazon and Microsoft. So by using the ILOG and defining zero here, we're taking the first row where if we took one, we are of course in the next row and so on. And if you want to, for example, look at just the first row and the first value of Apple, you can do like this. And if you run this, you will see right here, then we are only getting returned the output from the first row of the first element in this uh, array list, which, which is Apple. So we'll just remove this because we are interested in the uh, entire group of data. The next thing that we're going to do is to divide these. So we are going to divide the first row with its own value. This will give us a normalized value of one. So this list right here is actually displaying these values that we have right here in a normalized version. So here, uh, every company is starting off as, at zero, and then we will get a normalized value in the upcoming rows based on their performance. So here we'll see that uh, Apple goes under the start value, so the normalized value of one, and the two other companies do this as well. So this gives a lot better indication of when these start to take off and we can really get into the performance of the, the stock uh, based on the price, of course, by normalizing the value. But we don't want just to have a normalized value of one because normally when you normalize, it's a good practice just to normalize down to 100. So the way that we can do this is by, of course, taking the data variable, which contains the data, and we are going to divide this, but we're going to add on the multiplier of 100. So by adding this line right here, you will get this list normalized and multiplied by 100, meaning that we will start off by 100, like we see right here. So now when we have this data where every uh, company is starting at the same point, we can start to understand how well they performed. 
So now we are simply just taking this data and performing the same actions that we did in part two of the series where we were making the plot. So we are basically copying this code right here, but we want to do it on our new data, the normalized data. So we create a new variable called norm data, and then we say equals the normalized value where we multiply by 100. Then again, we define the plot parameters, the size of the uh, uh, chart figure and the font size. And we again use the Seaborn style and basically just show this off. And this gives us this value right, or this chart right here, where we see that at, so at one point here, we're actually seeing that Apple, or two points here, is performing better than the Amazon uh, stock. Whereas, of course, in the end, the Amazon stock really kicks off, but Apple is following a close pattern right here and is not that far actually from the from the Amazon. In, in numbers, it is, of course, uh, a, a bit uh, off, but this graph gives us a much better understanding of how well the stock performed, whereas if we are only looking at the raw data of the price tags right here, it looks like Amazon uh, not Amazon, but Apple and Microsoft, the blue and red line, is performing terrible because they are just in the bottom right here and it looks like they are really worth nothing. But that is not the case. It is just because Amazon is having such a high, high price tag that it makes these look like real underdogs. But by normalizing the value and looking at the performance of this normalized value, we will get a much uh, better understanding of how well each stock uh, performed. So we could, for example, here try to add uh, some other stocks. So I will be adding Google and Intel just to see how uh, this performs. So we'll go up here and we will take the list we have here and we will be adding Google. So let me just check the code for this. This is like this, and then we have Intel, like this. So we'll be executing this first. This will download the data. Then we'll just try to rebuild this graph just to, to see where we see this is based on entirely on the, the price tag without normalizing, where Google started off higher this time than uh, or not this time, but Google dis displays the, the point that when you are having a higher price tag, you really make these uh, bottom stocks, Microsoft and Intel, and also uh, Apple look like they are worth nothing. But again, this is uh, not the case. So if we just try to follow the approach here again, we see that Google is starting off by 300, which makes Apple starting price of seven look like, yeah, again, it's worth nothing. But when we are looking at the performance and follow this down, I will not be executing this because they, this will just add Google and Intel here. And again, this will just normalize. But if we then use this one, just to illustrate it, we now see that when normalized, we see that Google and Microsoft is actually close to each other. And let's try to see how this looks in a graph. So this was the graph before. And if we execute this again, let's see. So Apple and Amazon is again following nicely. Then we have Microsoft, which is performing in the end better than Google. Whereas Google have in the years 2014 or 13 here up until 2019, more or less performed better uh, price-wise uh, than the, the Google stuff uh, stock. So Microsoft performed, oh, oh yeah, they, <laughs> sorry, the Google stock performed better than the Microsoft. And then again, we not again, but we see that Intel is, well, it's not performing that great compared to these other four stocks. So this is a way that you can take your uh, fetch data and the knowledge you have about creating a stock chart and do some analysis by normalizing the values to get a better understanding of how each stock is performing uh, based on their, their price over a, a period of time. So this was all for this lecture and I will see you in the next one here on Winslow Academy.